today we are going to discuss capsule endoscopy so let us start with definition of capsule endoscopy capsule endoscopy is a procedure used to record internal images of the gastrointestinal tract for use in medical diagnosis now the question arises why we need to do capsule endoscopy so when normal endoscopy which is used in conventional system as well as colonoscopy both are negative then we go for capsule endoscopy now let us discuss what are all the parts of capsule endoscopy parts are data recorder this part we call as data recorder and this version is dr3 this is third version third gen generation and this is cradle this is used to keep data recorder as well as interface and this is adapter for power supply these are sensor leads these are sleeves while putting the sensor leads at the necessary positions we use these sleeves this is fill cam sb3 this is pouch used for keeping data recorder thereafter patient can put it on the waist and this is laptop version we are going to discuss software used here is rapid version 8 as Uh, we know we can use laptop as well as we can also use workstation for doing a capsule endoscopy case now we start from doing the capsule how to do the procedure first of all we need to prepare the patient for the test for this test a patient need to keep at least 12 hour fasting so that small and large intestine both are clear thereafter on the day of test no medication or food should be taken and it is advisable to take advice from the doctor now we discuss how to do the procedure first of all we need to connect this data recorder with the cradle thereafter we we can see this is the back part of the cradle this is connected to power and this is connected to data cable other part is usb port this is connected to laptop now we run patient check in here we can see it is showing connecting to recorder now it is showing patient name geeta some other previous data is still in the data recorder we click here check in patient now we click on next here we can fill the complete details of the patient let this is daya uh, uh, i better write it shankar first name is daya and we need to fill id hospital id, hospital ID. say this is global 001 gender i have put male birth date let i am putting 10 procedure date already it, it has taken by default we need to put capsule id id 
एम एन क्यू थ्री टी बी वाई एम एन क्यू थ्री टी बी वाई सो इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली टेल विच कैप्सूल टाइप वी आर यूजिंग नाउ वी मूव टू नेक्स्ट here we can put the doctor's name say this is dr vijay singh ordering physician say it is dr pavan kumar this is not necessary but we can just move to next so we can put region for referral say obstetric gi bleeding now we move, move to next if we wish we can fill all these details say this is 5 inches forget it i mean we, we need to capsule lot number This is not compulsory. We move to next. Finish. And now accept it. Finish. Now our data recorder is ready. We take data recorder out. There, there after. the patient has to lay down we can see the details it is being displayed as daya shankar patient id capsule details now we move forward here the location where we need to put the sensors has been clearly mentioned this is for small bowel capsule endoscopy these are the sensors sensors are to be placed in sleeves can you open it we need to put the sensor inside like this color side is the the indication it has been mentioned which is which is to be kept as upside likewise and it make sure that its center should be same it should be concentric thereafter we remove this part paste it now same oh. all eight leads are to be done in the same order and thereafter these are to be fixed at the respective positions this is to be removed and pasted at the respective position the other end to be connected like this arrow this one arrow is already mentioned so there will be we discuss how to connect data recorder to sensor leads we can see on the upward side marks are mentioned we have to insert in this way after connecting on the screen we can say this is connected now after this we need to pair the capsule this is how we open after opening we can see the blinking of the capsule patient should take out the capsule with an 
before that we need to pair the capsule now we can see the color earlier which was this side earlier it was red color now it has turned to green on the upward side we can see on the left hand side this is blinking in blue color now we can also see the real position of the capsule patient has to ingest with a small amount of water and we can see the movement so to for us Uh, patient not have to take anything only coffee after ingestion of the capsule at least for next 3 to 4 hours patient should not take anything after 3 to 4 hours liquid diet can be taken like coconut water or so colored solution should be avoided and patient should take care that he should be away from any mobile kind of connections magnetic area during the procedure now we need to remove after the completion of 8 to 10 hours we can remove this sensor connection we again put it back to cradle we go back to software once again for data downloading we do a fresh running of application software after running the software we can see the first screen recorder download now it is connecting to recorder we go to create video on the left hand side we can see the details it is showing patient's detail we can also see the battery label moreover creating video is also there while downloading the data we must take care that nothing should be disconnected in between you can see it is clearly displaying that nothing should be disconnected after downloading the data we can see it's displaying as video creation successful we close the software we go back to view study now study manager we select the raw data loading video loading findings now play it we take first vestric image say after one or two minutes first vestric image thereafter say around after half an hour we take first duodenal image
capture first duodenal image thereafter after around 6 hours we capture first sickle image i'm giving a i'm giving a general idea we, we need to see the video also first sickle image now we go to sbi we enable it that is suspected blood indicator we need to enable it now we can play it it will display the bleeding areas now we can take the pictures we take the pictures go to view We can see the lesions and all. We can see. Now we come to reporting. We select the images. By clicking on that, thereafter we put our comments like colonic polyps to see for small bowel polyps. We save now. We can also have a preview before final reporting. Here we can see capsule endoscopy report. and we can give print command now thank you all thank you these are the images captured